The first thing we are doing is setting our acrylic tub in a bed of mortar. This ensures when you step in it that it's solid as a rock. I used a laser level to make sure that it was level and then we went ahead and installed go board around the bathtub and we also butted it over top of the flange and then we sealed the tub to the go board with go board sealant. This ensures a watertight bond and seal. Every bathtub has a flange that surrounds the rim and typically this is done differently with different contractors. A lot of contractors will butt to the flange in my case, I actually like to rip the go board a quarter inch by one inch on the back side so I can overlap the flange. It usually sticks out about three eighths of an inch. By using this method, the go board will be completely flat on the studs all the way around the tub rim. This will ensure that when you're installing your tile that you have a flat surface to install on and everything is watertight. We are installing a herringbone pattern around a deep soaking tub with a full niche on the back wall. It's really important that you create a template in this situation because you want your back wall tile to wrap the side walls perfectly so it has a continuation. So me and Kyle went ahead and made the template. We laid out the herringbone in the garage on the floor and we simply are putting our template here outlining it and then what we're going to go ahead and do is cut all the tile around the template and then we're going to use the cutoff pieces to wrap the side walls which will also serve as the starting point for our sidewall templates this turned out really well everything went together like a puzzle after we set it out in the garage another thing was this bathroom is on the second floor so by cutting everything in the garage we only had to cut it uh, one time and then deliver it to the upstairs all at once. In the last video, we created a template of the herringbone back wall. In this video, we are doing a template of the side wall. I'm simply using a hot glue gun and strips of two inch pieces of quarter inch iron ply to create our template. And then we just use the cutoff pieces to have a reference point to start our template. We used the bottom cutoff piece to measure down to the top of the tub, and this would give us the height that we needed to place our template properly on top of this tile. We're just simply laying out the tile now, and then we're going to go ahead and set the template on it. We're going to outline it with a marker. Then we simply cut everything on the wet saw. After we're done with that, we put it back into place, and then we take a piece of plywood and put our layout on it, carry it to the upstairs. That way everything's prefabricated and we can install all the walls at once. Hey, what's up guys? In the last two videos, we did a template of the back wall and we also did a template of the side wall. In this video, as you can see, I'm installing the herringbone on the back wall and I'm also running it up the side walls. I only installed the herringbone up to the bottom of the niche and then I wanted to run the side walls to the top of the niche. And what this is gonna allow me to do is tie in the tile above the niche on the back wall with the side walls which was really critical that everything falls into alignment. That way the grout lines on the inside corners are matching and th the continuation in the corners looks correct. It actually turned out really good and the results are really stunning on this. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video because we'll be installing pebbles in the back of the niche and we'll also be installing a matte black granite ledge. Hey my friends, we are installing a full niche on the back of this deep soaking tub. And as you can see, I'm installing a granite ledge at the bottom. I went ahead and ripped that down to make sure it didn't, it didn't have an overhang of more than an inch. And now I'm installing five sheets of pebbles. I went ahead and cut the sheets down in the garage a little bit smaller than the opening. That way I could just pack in some pebbles around the areas on the perimeter that did not have any pebbles. And now I'm just patting it down with my hands, wiping it off with a sponge. Make sure you wipe it down really good with a sponge and you get any mortar uh, that might conflict with the grout once you do the grout. We did not do the grout in the back of the niche yet, but stay tuned for the final video. I also wanted to bring to your attention how well this tile continuation warps around the walls and also on the bottom side of the niche, you can see how well it just kind of wraps all together. And this is the final product. We actually just got done grouting it. So we used a very nice medium gray grout for the back of the pebbles in the niche. And it really pulled in the herringbone pattern field tile with the pebbles in the back of the niche and just kind of integrated everything the way we wanted it to look. We also did a matte black Moen trim kit for the shower valve. And we have a deep soaking tub here, which turned out beautiful. Thanks so much for checking out this video, guys. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. Talk to you later.